So today, we are going to be looking at linear functions, and we're going to determine if these graphs represent linear functions. In order for something to be a linear function, it has to be two things. It has to be both linear and a function. So how do you know if it's linear? Well, if it's linear, the graph will just be a straight line. That's pretty easy. For it to be a function, we have to go to our definition of function. It's that for every input, there's only one output. Meaning, for every x, there's only one y. And the easiest way to check for that is using the vertical line test, which I'll show you in a little bit. All right, so let's do this. For this first one, is this linear? Well, it's made up of line segments, but it's zigzags out. It needs to be one single line in order for it to be linear, so no, this is not linear. Is it a function? Now, let's talk about that vertical line test. The easiest way to check to see if a graph is a function is see if there is a vertical line that touches the graph in more than one place. So what you do is you take a vertical line, like a paper clip, and just move it across the graph. And notice, if I move my vertical line like here, anywhere in here, here I'm just going to draw it in right here. Notice, it touches the graph in multiple places. It hits it here, here, and then here. So no, this is not a function because our x value of 1 gives us three different y values. So it does not pass the vertical line test. That's the way we say it. OK, we'll do a few more. Here we go for this one. Oh, by the way, this is not a linear function because it's not li linear or a function. So this is neither. So it's not a linear function. All right, now let's do this one. So this one is linear. It is a straight line, so it's linear. Is it a function? Well, let's see. Here's my vertical line. Notice, as I move this across the grid, it never touches my graphed line in more than one spot at any given time. This passes the vertical line test, because for every x value, there's only one possible y value. So yes, this is a function. And since it's linear and a function, yes, this is a linear function. All right, let's try a few more. Let's go to these two. OK, we've got another interesting looking graph here. It kind of zigzags out. This is not linear, though, because it's not made up of one straight line. Is it a function, though? Let's see. Here's my vertical line. Notice, as I move it across the, gr the coordinate grid, it never touches my graph um, never touches my graph in more than one spot. It only touches in one. So it is a function, but it's not linear. So no, this is not a linear function. All right, let's go to this one. This is an interesting one. Notice, this one's kind of a sideways U-shape called a parabola. Is it linear? No, it's not a line. It's nowhere close to a line, so it's not linear. Is it a function? Well, let's check. If I move my vertical line, clearly anywhere I move this vertical line in here, it's going to hit the graph in more than one spot. See? So this is not a function. So since it's neither linear nor a function, it's definitely not a linear function. All right? Let's do two more. For this one down here, this curve, is it linear? Well, it's not a line, so no. It's not a line, so it's not linear. Is it a function? Well, let's check. If I move this vertical line across the coordinate grid, it never touches this line in more than one spot. So it actually does pass the vertical line test. It is a function. But it's not linear, so it is not a linear function. All right, last one. Here we go. This is an interesting one. It's a vertical line up and down. So is it linear? Why, yes, it is. It's a straight line. Is it a function? Well, let's see. If I use my vertical line test, look at this. When I move my vertical line right on top of the line itself, it touches the graph everywhere. This does not pass the vertical line test. For every x value, there would only have to be one y value. But when x is negative 2, <laughs> There's a whole bunch of different y, possible y values. So no, that is not a function. So since it's not a function, it is not a linear function. OK? So 
Hopefully this made a little sense to you and it helped you understand linear functions a little better. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe. It really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.